Good morning. Welcome to Bristol Shines, our employee recognition and award ceremony. My name is Manuel Echeverria. I'm the Chief Human Resources Officer for the college and I'm your guide for this exciting event. This morning, we will honor those moving on to their next adventure, our Bristol retirees, and those who have dedicated years of service to our college. We will also be honoring employees with various awards of recognition, some of these the first, uh, the first time ever. Before we get started, I would like to thank our friends at Epicurean Feast, Robert Perry, our area manager, and Linda Rotella, catering manager. who always do a great job and provide us excellent service. Lead applause. <laughs> I also want to thank the facilities team who, who always does a great job in setting up for events, and Lisa Parsons and Philomena Pont, who planned this year's event and took care of all the details. I know that weeks and even months in advance, they've been working really diligently to make today possible, so thank you, Lisa and Philomena. And now it is time to celebrate the many achievements, milestones, and the people that make Bristol Community College an innovative, inclusive, and exciting place to learn and work. So without further ado, I would like to introduce President Laura Douglas. Well, thank you, Emmanuel, and good morning. What a wonderful breakfast, and it's so great to see all of you today. Welcome to our annual employee recognition event. Uh, today, we come together not just to celebrate the achievements of individuals, but the collective Bristol spirit that drives us for it, forward. The spirit that says, we can do hard things, and we get great results when we do them together. You may have heard this phrase, perhaps, from your children during their K-12 education. We, do, we can do hard things, right? It's a mantra often associated with overcoming challenges, pushing boundaries, and achieving greatness. And while it's true, that we frequently encounter obstacles in higher education, it's equally true that we possess resilience, determination, and commitment. At Bristol Community College, our employees don't walk away from challenges. They find ways to ensure that the job gets done. Whether it's navigating complex issues, finding innovative solutions, or providing support to our students, we rise to the occasion time and time again. We will, be, we will be celebrating many of those achievements today. Why? Because everything we do, every decision we make, is centered around one singular purpose, our students. We understand that our dedication to their success is our top priority, and no challenge is too hard if it puts their future within reach. We innovate, adapt, and strive for excellence. Bristol Community College is more than just an institution. It's a beacon of quality education. It's a cornerstone of our community. We are known for the caliber of our programs and our dedicated faculty and staff. Together, yes, we do hard things, but we also do rewarding things, things that uplift, empower, and transform lives. Today, as we recognize the outstanding achievements of our colleagues, let's also celebrate the collective strength that pushes us forward. Let us take pride in knowing that together, we're making a difference in the lives of our students, as the tapestry of our community, and in the future of higher education. So here's to each and every one of you, the champions of our mission and vision. Thank you for your hard work and advancing a vibrant, diverse community through education, learner by learner.
There is nothing that we can't accomplish. Here's to doing the hard things and doing them exceptionally well together. With this spirit, I know that there is nothing beyond our reach. As I reflect on past successes, I want you to know that I am so grateful to each of you and I am so humbled by the opportunity to serve you as your president. So I want to take a moment just to say one more time, congratulations to all of you, to all of our honorees, every member of the Bristol Community College community for all that you do. Thank you. Now I'd like to invite Emmanuel Echevarria back to the stage for our years of service recognition. So get ready for all of those who, of you who have landmark years. Today we have 120 employees celebrating service milestones within the college this year. Each employee will receive a pin indicating their years of service and a donation in the employee's name will be made to the student employment program in the amount of the employee's years of service. A few program notes, we appreciate your patience with the pronunciation of names. As someone with the last name Echeverria, I know they're not all very easy. And we apologize in advance for any unintended errors. The human resources staff work diligently to make this event error free, uh, but inevitably some, someone inadvertently gets missed. If so, just let us know, email the HR inbox, and we will make it right. All names are listed in your program. Behind me on the screen will be listed on our, on our slideshow. They will also be listed on the webpage at bristolcc.edu slash bristolshines after the ceremony. I will call names for each of the years of service. Please stand when your name is called and stay standing until your year is complete. For the sake of time, because we have 120 names, please hold applause until the end for each year or award. Following the ceremony, the years of service pins will be available for pickup in the lobby. Let's begin. With those celebrating five years of service, please stand. This year, there are 43 people celebrating five years of service at Bristol. Chandra Ackerblum, Christopher Anderson, Jill Apicerno, Teresa Bernardino, Kimberly Carrero, Wendy Correa, Richard Kudo, Christopher Cox, Jeffrey Davis, Julie Delcourt, Kathleen Fidel, Robert Finnessy, Stephanie Gouveia, Tanya Gouveia, Nicole Hall, Laura Hogan, Thomas Hoy, James Judge, Diane Clayman, Anna Klemty, David Ledoux, Caitlin Litwinitz, David Madden, Cameron Maldonado, Robin Martin, Adriana Medeiros, Mark Natalie, Lorna Tabacos, Jennifer O'Brien, Nicholas O'Brien, Vivian Ojadi, Nicole Picard, John Raposa, Farah Rumulus, Rebecca Sinai, Abigail Silva, Christopher Silva, Tyler Silva, Jennifer Smoes, Thomas Souza, Nikita Vieira, Amanda Von Malder, and Kate Welch. Now moving on to the 10 years of service. This year, there are 32 people celebrating 10 years of service at Bristol. Please stand when your name is called. Mary Ellen Atkins, Rosario Basai, Edward Bjornsson, Emily Brown, Jillian DaCosta, Rita D'Olivera, Michael Donato, Sahar Elma Safari, Dale Hayden, Stacy Hess, Matthew Hodges, Renee Horton, Angeliki Kumla, Alejandro Latinez, Nicola Machado, Tracy Martin, Jennifer Menard, Scott Nolan, Elzabita Nowakowski, Mario Oliveira, Doris Perryman, 
Karen Pimentel, Philomena Pont, Greg Rebus, Olivia Robinson, Nancy Santo Padre Dos Reyes, Jacqueline Shook, Susan Sylvia, Aaron Smith, John's Church, Thomas Warren, Patricia Zuber. Now 15 years of service. This year there are 16 people celebrating 15 years of service at the college. Congratulations to Susan Barrett, Robert Bro, Barbara Kadima, Melissa Carberry, Anne-Marie Donnelly, Joseph Dumais, David Henry, Kelly Hiller, Sarah Coker, Robert Cogzera, Jenna Lagasi, Mary Mayhew, Jacqueline Mbugwa, Brian McGuire, Kathleen Plant, and Stephen Rice. Next, we will be celebrating the employees who've reached 20 years of service. This year, there are nine employees reaching 20 years of service at Bristol. So congratulations to Robert Coleman, Linda Gaudi, Geraldine Gregory, Kelly Landry, April Lynch, John Malloy, Lori Pironi, Ricardo Robello, and Carol Richards. Congratulations. Employees with years of service for 25 years and above have their names placed on sculptures in the Recognition Garden. The, gar the Recognition Garden is located next to the Grimshaw Goodwits Art Gallery and embodies stages of garden life. Each sculpture has a planter base with name plaques. The sculptures are sprout, symbolizing the employee recognition program, blossom and flower, 25 years, leaves, 30 years, fruit, 35 years, and seed, 40 plus years. Please stand when we call your name and remain standing. This year, there are 10 people celebrating 25 years of service at Bristol. Amwer Belmadani, Eileen Cruz, Scott Francis, Susan Haig, Nicole Heaney, Peter Homan, Julie Joden Krozik, Melanie Johnson, Richard Sylvia, Eileen Young. It is remarkable to see that there are this many people celebrating 25 years. Congratulations to all of you. I am pleased to announce that this year there are five people celebrating 30 years of service at the college. Laura Bomback, Robert Griffiths, Greg Sitharis, Anthony Uchi, and Colleen Vickery. Congratulations. <laughs> now I would like to invite President Douglas to the stage to have the honor to present the 40 and 45 Years of Service Awards. Wow, 40 and 45 years, my goodness. So, celebrating the incredible milestone of 40 years of service, please stand Mitchell Estefan and Dennis Haworth. Congratulations. And there are two people with 45 years of dedicated service to Bristol Community College. Please stand, Joyce Fernandez Adler.
So Joyce, Joyce Fernandes is also our last lecturer. And you know what? I would bet $100 that she's got nothing to say. She's so quiet. She never has much to say. You know, she's always that person. So uh, get ready. This will, every word she says is our last lecture. We'll, we'll be hanging on to every word, Joyce. So thank you. It's such an honor to have you here at the college and also to celebrate 45 years as the last lecturer. It's wonderful. Joyce has the uh, incredible volunteer role of helping all of our valedictorians with their speeches. So it's no surprise to me that she's prepared nine different speeches as her last lecture. And I, we will all be hanging on to every word because we know for every word you speak, there would have been 10 additional words that you had to hold back on. So. <laughs> Yes, we do. Well, let's give Joyce one more round of applause. Also celebrating 45 years at Bristol Community College is Susan Raposo. Susan, are you here today? We want to congratulate Susan on those many years and all of her service here. So thank you uh, to both, <clears throat> pardon me, to both Joyce and Susan for your unwavering dedication and all of your outstanding contributions that have been instrumental to our success. And we are very grateful to your commitment to Bristol Community College. Thank you very much. So congratulations to everyone. You are among our champions, working every day to overcome challenges, push boundaries, and achieve greatness. So we are now going to recognize our recent or soon to be retirees. I know some people were not able to join us today. So for those of you who are here, I hope that you'll please stand when your name is called. Michael Bensink, Director of Student Wellness. Donna Davis, Associate Registrar and the Grand Marshal for this year's commencement ceremony. There she is. All right, Donna, great to see you. Sean Elliott, our theater director. Carol Ginsburg, Special Program Coordinator. There she is. Thank you, Carol. It's also nice to see you. Christopher LaVault, Offset Duplicating Machine Operator 2. I know Chris is celebrating retirement. Rhonda Magnuski, Purchasing and Business Services. All right, Rhonda. Carlos Pereira, Painter 1. And Cynthia Sousa, Accountant 5. I think I saw Cynthia. Congratulations. Congratulations and thank you to all our magnificent retirees. You have spent your career doing hard things with great success and we're grateful to your dedication to the college. And we hope that you'll enjoy these gifts and we wish you endless joy and fulfillment in this exciting new chapter uh, of your life. So next up, we're going to do something a little new based on a great uh, suggestion from our faculty and professional staff senate. Let's give them a round of applause, right?
We would like to congratulate those who achieved a degree this past year. Uh, so that would have been in 2023. So some of you may have received some degrees since then in 2024. We're going to celebrate you next year, okay? So put a placeholder on the date. Um, so your hard work has paid off, and we're proud to celebrate this magnificent celebration or accomplishment with you. Laura Alisea, Master of Arts. Please stand when I call your name. There's Laura. Samira De DeJesus, Associate of Arts. Dr. Vanessa Ruggieri, Doctor of Education. Congratulations, and I know we'll be celebrating next year, all of you who have already uh, achieved degrees or will be achieving them this May. Some of you will be graduating from other institutions, so we'll, uh, we'll recognize you then. So up next, we have Jill Woodcomb, who will read our Performance Recognition Program Award recipients. Welcome, Jill. Thank you, Dr. Douglas. Um, the Performance Recognition Program is a statewide program where employees in state service are nominated by peers and supervisors for their extraordinary contributions to public service. We're going to read the names only, but we encourage you to visit the website for more details at bristolcc.edu slash bristolshines. Please stand when your name is called and remain standing. Bristol Community College individual winner for the Citation for Outstanding Performance for 2023 is Michelle LaRue, Administrative Assistant for TRIO Programs. Congratulations, Michelle. <laughs> there are two group winners, so please hold applause until the end. Um, first up is Information Technology Services. This group was awarded for providing technical assistance during the cyber attack to ensure success of all students, faculty, and staff. The team includes Dennis Baldwin, Helene Costa, Aaron Daniel, Kayla DeRosier, Andrew Downing, Diane Frand, Scott Francis, Robert Griffiths, Andrew Highnote, Paul Jefferson, John Malloy, Thomas Meager, Angelina Medeiros, Ryan Menard, Asani Morehouse, Andrew Morrison, Ernest Nicholson, Joanne Pelletier, Raymond Phillips, Tahis Rial Martins, Marcella Ruas, Alex Soiret, Warren Smith, Jade Vieira, David Vieira, Mirella Wojciechowski, Eric Weldon, and then congratulations to that team. Next up is student and family engagement. This group was recognized for their outstanding work in providing comprehensive support to students through various programs and services. Renata Garcia, Elizabeth McCarthy, Jeffrey Craig, So thanks to all of you for your tireless efforts. And next, I'd like to introduce Jennifer Sousa to present the 2023 and 24 Bristol Bayhawks victors. Thank you, Jill. Our Bristol Bayhawk Victor Program, a collaborative initiative developed by the Bristol Staff Senate, serves as a platform to recognize the hard work, innovation, and dedication of our Bristol employees. Nominations for the Bristol Bayhawk Victor are open to all Bristol employees and can be submitted by any college employee. I extend my heartfelt appreciation to those who took time to acknowledge colleagues for their hard work. 
You can find the link to submit nominations in every issue of the Bristol Weekly. I'd like to extend my sincere gratitude to the nomination team. This is made up of volunteers from both the staff senate and faculty and professional staff who meet monthly to review the submissions. Now I have the pleasure of acknowledging our Bristol Bayhawk Victor winners that were selected over the past year. Victors, please stand when your name is called. The 2023 and 2024 winners are Andrew Highnote, Director of Online Learning. Eugenia Perry, Clark 5, Enrollment Center, Fall River Campus. Amanda Bolu smith Tutor and Adjunct Faculty Member. Josh Brewer, Maintainer 1, Buildings and Grounds Operations. William Duffy, Senior Special Programs Coordinator, Academic Innovation and Professional Development. Magna Pacheco, Assistant Director of Payroll, Administration and Finance. Allison Brewer, Learning Specialist, Office of Disability Services. Laurie Peroni, Administrative Assistant at, Assistant at our Attleboro campus. Congratulations. Now I would like to introduce Dr. Andrew Fisher, Vice President of Academic Affairs to announce the Professor Emma Wrighty. Thank you, Jen. It's been wonderful to see the nomination of the Bristol Bayhawk Victors and also to be at this wonderful event that uh, commemorates all the hard work that we've done as employees and notifying uh, the, the rest of the college community of the good things that are happening at the institution, especially longevity. Joyce, 45 years, that's amazing. At, well, I'm just saying 342 days, so just saying. Congratulations to all. The Professor Emeritus is an honorary title recognizing distinguished academic service at Bristol. The title is awarded to retired professors who have made an exceptional contribution in academic leadership, including dedicated achievement to their field of study. It is an honor that I recognize the following four recipients this year. Dr. Johanna Duponte-Williams, retired professor of occupational therapy. Priscilla Grosser, retired professor of computer information systems. Dr. Kathleen Plant, retired professor of nursing. And Robert Rack, retired professor of environmental technology. Congratulations to all of our esteemed professors on being named Professor Emeritus. Thank you for your invaluable contributions to the institution and lasting impact on generations of students. President Douglas will return to announce the Silver Shield and Scepter and Scroll Awards. Thank you, Andrew, and congratulations to our esteemed faculty members. It's great to see four faculty emeriti this year. Probably a record here at Bristol Community College, don't you think? So our next few awards are a surprise. And don't we all love a good surprise? So we're gonna start with the Silver Shield Award. The Silver Shield is awarded to members of the college community who made significant contributions to the college during the current academic year. Winners were nominated by their colleagues. There are three winners who have not been announced to date, so please stand when your name is called and remain standing. Kindly hold your applause until uh, all three winners have been named. This year's winners of the Silver Shield Award are 
Denny Cosmo, Director, Joseph A. Marshall Veterans Center. We got Denny over here. All right, you can't follow directions, so let's give him a round of applause. Farah Habib, Associate Professor of English. And last but not least, Natalie Sousa. Come on, stand up. Natalie. Natalie is Administrative Assistant to Business Solutions and Partnerships, and she's also an alumna of Bristol Community College. Let's give her a round of applause. Congratulations to our Silver Shield winners. You may be seated. So now for our second surprise announcement, the Scepter and Scroll Award. This is awarded to members of the college community who have consistently provided exceptional college-wide service and or leadership over a period of years. Recipients are installed in perpetuity in the Scepter and Scroll Society. Winners were nominated by their colleagues. These winners have not been announced to date. Please stand when your name is called and go ahead and give your applause at the end of every name because that's just not gonna work as we planned. <laughs> so, there are four winners for Scepter and Scroll. First one goes to William Duffy. Congratulations, Will. Will Duffy is our Senior Special Programs Coordinator, Academic Innovation and Professional Development. Our, and President of the Faculty Senate, right? So congratulations, Will. Our second winner is David Ledoux. David is Assistant uh, Professor of Theater, Arts, and Humanities, and he will be taking our students to the Fringe Festival in Scotland this summer. Congratulations, David. Our third Scepter and Scroll awardee is Olivia Robinson. Olivia is a digital marketing associate in, from marketing and communications, and as you know, she manages all of our social media, which is just um, unbelievable. We just do so well in that sphere, and uh, she gives us all a really great name and reputation. She's so important to our brand, so thank you, Olivia. And last but not least, Jennifer Sousa. Jennifer is a staff associate in information and technology services, and as you know, she's also an important leader within the staff senate and helped to establish that very important body here at Bristol Community College. So I want to thank our four winners, exceptional individuals and employees, William Duffy, David Ledoux, Olivia Robinson, and Jennifer Sousa. Thank you. Thank you. So again, we've got another new part of our program, and this is about a new award that we've been wanting to give for some time. It's called the Bristol Belongs Award. The Belongs Award is one of our two new awards, and it is given to individuals within the college community who have demonstrated a strong commitment to fostering an inclusive and welcoming workplace environment. There are three winners. 
Our first winner is Lane Clements. Congratulations, Lane. She's an administrative assistant in the Student Success Center, and everyone who knows Lane knows how welcoming and supportive she is to everyone. So congratulations, Lane. And our next Belongs Award winner is Rebecca Sinai. Rebecca. Oh, there she is. Congratulations, Rebecca. Rebecca is a clerk for at the Taunton Center and also known to be so uh, warm and genuine in serving everyone at the Taunton Center. No wonder she is a recipient of this award. Congratulations, Rebecca. And our third winner is Nicola Machada. Nicola is, our <laughs> Nicola is our administrative assistant in adult education, and she too, if uh, you've ever had an opportunity to observe her interacting with students, just makes students feel so welcome and at home, especially those who are so hesitant to uh, maybe enroll in English as a second language or adult education classes. So thank you very much, Nicola. <laughs> So I really want to uh, uh, congratulate all of our awardees for the Belongs Award, Lane, Rebecca, and Nicola. And I also want to take a moment to thank our HR team for um, taking the challenge of building this award and making it an annual event where we recognize our employees for the work they do to make uh, uh, Bristol such a warm and inclusive place where everyone feels as though they belong. So congratulations to HR. Now we're up to our last award, and I am very proud to present the Bristol Innovative, Innovator Award. This award acknowledges and celebrates employees who demonstrate innovative thinking and creativity by solving organizational issues or implementing process improvements. Innovation is key to meeting our mission and vision. Remember, it's one of our strategic plan pillars, academic innovation, right? Um, and it is, and our inaugural award winner this year is Farah Habib. Standing, Farah Habib is our Associate Professor of English, who is our new Bristol innovator. She wrote an innovative grant in collaboration with Sauk Valley Community College in Illinois that enabled the college to create a cultural exchange program, APEX, American Pakistan Educational Exchange. Bristol hosted students and faculty from Kennard College for Women at Bristol, and representatives from the college visited Pakistan this February. This innovative program has been called the epitome of cultural diversity and cultural immersion for the college. Congratulations, Farah. So what an amazing group of individuals. Let's give a round of applause to all of our award recipients this year. So I know we have uh, two individuals who have just celebrated 45 years at Bristol, but let's take a moment to ask all of our employees who have been here one year or less just to take a moment to stand so we can acknowledge you. Please stand. One year or less. All right. Woo.
thank you. You know, it's quite possible that I will not be around 45 years from now, um, seeing that I am in my mid-60s, but I hope that many of you will be here for decades to come, and uh, this is truly a wonderful place to work, and we look forward to nurturing you along your years, and I hope that the next president will be celebrating your milestones, so thank you for our new employees as well. Lastly, I would like to thank Emmanuel, Philomena Pont, Lisa Parsons, the HR team, and the marketing and communications team for your partnership in this fantastic event. It does take uh, quite a few people to put together such a fantastic event, so let's give them a round of applause as well. So this concludes our employee awards program for 2024. I'd like to share my heartfelt appreciation to all of you, and I hope that you recognize that your contributions to the college and your collected, collective efforts drive us forward every single day. Remember, we can do hard things, and we get great results when we do them together. I'd now like to ask Emmanuel to close out our program. Emmanuel? So one thing I've learned in the last year and a half that I've been at Bristol is that President Douglas really likes a well-run event. <laughs> I was just uh, joking with Judy when she prematurely clapped that she's gonna get unable to follow directions on her performance review. <laughs> And so am I. <laughs> so President Douglas, before you get comfortable moseying around the room, I wanted to let you know that we do have one more award to give in the spirit of surprise. Earlier in the program, you talked about how we can do hard things and achieve great results together. You don't just talk about it as our president, you often exemplify it for all of us. And along the way, in this spirit, you had led Bristol Community College through some very difficult times, probably some of the most difficult that any of you in this room, who've been here longer than a year and a half, have experienced. And I want you to know that the college is extremely grateful and in debt to you for all of your service. Although you and I have only shared this event twice, it is hard to believe that this will be our last Bristol Shines together. It seems fitting that you too are recognized for the exceptional college-wide service and leadership that you have provided to all of us. For these reasons, it is my pleasure to invite the President's leadership team up on stage with me, if you could all join me. No, you get to stay down for a minute. <laughs> On behalf of the entire college, your leadership team would like to present you with our last Scepter and Scroll Award. Congratulations and thank you for your work and service for Bristol Community College. Now I will close out the program. <laughs> I, would like to, I would like to thank all of you for taking the time to join us today and celebrate among your peers, celebrate all of us, all of our achievements together over the last year, those that are continuing to serve with us, those that are leaving us, and those that have left us. And I want to thank the entire HR team also because I know how hard you all have worked to make this event possible. And it is a point of pride for me to be able to say that I serve with all of you in this wonderful institution every day. Before we break, I have a few important closing items. As a reminder, your service pins will be located outside uh, for pickup in the lobby. 
And thank you again, everyone, for attending and joining us today. Have a great day.